Hello, welcome back to the Cricket Nerds. Today, James and I are going to be previewing, carrying on our previews of all the IPL teams. We're looking at Kolkata Knight Riders today. And let's just get straight into it, James. What are the strengths of the Kolkata Knight Riders squad? Um, spin. They've got some really, really good spinners. Uh, they've got yeah, Sunil Narayan, Varun Chakravarti and Soya Sharma, I would say are three of the best spinners in the IPL. Um, they can go at incredibly low economies and take wickets. So those middle overs for KKR are pretty much tied up. And that's that's obviously a massive advantage. Like Having 12 overs that you can almost always bank on is uh, obviously a massive asset for KKR. They've also got Mitchell Stark, which is obviously great, having somebody that can bowl in the power play, middle overs as a strike bowler and at the death. And he's also like, he can swing a bat. He can give you some handy runs if need be. Um, and they've also got Phil Salt, which I'd actually say is another big strength because Jason Roy backed out. They got Phil Salt as a replacement. He was a surprise, like, it was a surprise that nobody picked him up at the auction. Yeah. Um, and he, he went on that incredible run of form. And I think it's an excellent um decision for them they've got somebody that can be a really good wicket keeper and a really good keeper uh, and a really good batsman um they've also got Ramanella Gerbaz who you know fills in that exact role as well so mm. they've got they've got some depth there um i'm interested to know what do you think their weaknesses are so i i think getting Phil Salt is really good because he they were lacking in the wicket keeper areas they didn't i think in their squad they've got three well they had two before they picked up Phil Salt. So it was almost a blessing in disguise when Jason Roy withdrew. Um, but their only other one, aside from Gerbers and Salt, is KS Barrett. So in terms of a good Indian wicketkeeper batsman, they don't have that. KS Barrett is too slow for 2020. He's more of the, the first-class test match style player. Um, so that could cause them issues if they kind of want to bol- bolster the, the bowling and the all-rounder department with overseas players then they, they have to play KS Barrett. So so that's an issue. Also, usual Kolkata Knight Riders things where they've got an over-reliance on a few players. They've, their unproven Indian talent will need to be tested. Um, the likes of Ramandeep Singh, for example. Um, he's going to have to play a big role, um, in my opinion. And also some of their, their younger bowlers. I know Suya Sharma had a very good debut season for them. Can he do it again? Harshit Rana as well is an exciting young fast bowler. But can he deliver on the IPL stage? We we get to see that. So, yeah, just that unproven Indian talent needs to be tested because otherwise it's, well, Andre Russell, can he do it again? Shreya Sai, the captain, he's not in great form. Sun and Orion, can he perform again? It's just those same few players that they're just constantly relying on for me. Yeah, I think Sun and Orion, I can guarantee, like, I, I would actually be confident betting money on the fact that he will get a golden duck at some point in the IPL. And and it'll be a time where for for whatever reason, KKR open with him or do something stupid, like promote him up the order. He'll get a golden duck. He does. Yeah. He get, I think more often than not, he gets a duck. Like it's ridiculous. The amount of times that he, he gets dismissed without scoring. Um, Let's just, let's just throw out a, a potential 12. Mm. I, I think we're likely to have quite similar ones, so I'm happy for you to go first. Yeah. Well, the opening batsman, Venkatesh Iyer, has got to be one of them. The other one is either going to be Phil Salt or Ramanulla Gurbaz. They play a very similar role. Uh, good backup options at that opening slot. If one of them is not doing so well, throw in the other one. If they end up both doing very well, then Kolkata Knight is going to have a few selection headaches because you can't really leave out Andre Russell's son and Orion and Mitchell Stark. Um, so I've got Shreyas Iyer at three, captain, Nitish Rana four, Andre Russell five, Rinku Singh at six, Ramandeep Singh at seven, Sunan Ryan eight, Mitchell Stark nine, Harshit Rana ten, and Varun Chakravathi eleven, with Suyash Sharma being the uh, the impact substitution, um, and Ramandeep Singh being the unproven Indian all rounder. So yeah, that's my eleven slash twelve. Nice. I yeah. think that's quite similar to mine, actually. Um, I had Salt and, Vent- uh, Salt and Venkatesh opening, mm-hmm. Nitish Rana 3, Shreyas 4, Rinku yeah. 5, 
Russell six, Ramandeep Singh at seven. Um, he's a Punjabi, so he's he's gonna do well. <laughs> um, then I had Mitchell Stark at eight and Sun on the Ryan nine, mm. Baron Chakravarti ten. I had Vaibhav Aurora at eleven okay. because he's somebody yeah. that's done really well in the side Mushta Kali Trophy. He's fast, he swings it quite a lot. He's a good power play bowler, so I think he could actually do really well for KKR up front which I think is an area that from memory, they actually struggled last year. It was mm. taking wickets up front. I can tie up those middle overs, but actually if they can get Stark and Aurora bowling up front, I think that could do really well for them. Yeah. And then I'd saw a Sharma at, at 12. I, I've got to say that it's not a bad side. However, I think all of the other sides have got a little bit more balance. And yeah. I think just having having that reliance on Andre Russell and Sunil Ryan every single time. They are and Mitchell getting Stark. older. And Mitchell Stark, you know, they're all getting older. They are I don't know, that they, they have their they have their days where they are unplayable and you're like, yeah, there's a reason they've been dominant. But they also have their days where they're like, have they ever played cricket before? <laughs> Yeah. And I think that could really uproot KKR. But I'd say that the biggest plus for me for KKR, above all of the things that we said before, is Rinku Singh. Yes. The guy is an absolute superstar. And I haven't seen him really fail yet. I, I can't think of a time, maybe once, where he hasn't got the knock that he, they, like his team really needed. And that is incredible to say. I've seen him play quite a bit. And he always seems to produce the goods. So um, he, he will be a massive, massive factor. But if he has a bad tournament, then I think KKR are um, up a creek, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, the, the K, looking at the KKR squad, they've, they're lacking a lot of backup options. They always have a small squad. Um, when you look at their backup seamer for Mitchell Stark, we know Mitchell Stark's a really good player and can offer a lot. Bowl at the death, like you've said. But his replacement is Desmantha Jamira, who has IPL experience, but he's not quite that same caliber. I know Gus Atkinson's withdrawn and they, they brought in Jamira. Um, and in terms of spin, the backup for Sun and Ryan is Majiba Rahman, who can be hot and cold. Um, he's not always he's not always performing well. And in terms of a backup for Andre Russell, they've got Sherfane Rutherford, who's not quite there either. He's not of the same caliber. He's, he's a good player. Like he's had a few decent performances for RCB. We know he can hit a long ball, but it's that consistency. So for me with KKR, because of the lack of lack of good backup options, if their team is on form, they'll do really well this tournament. But if their first 11 isn't on form, then they're going to really struggle. Um, and that's why I think they're going to finish toward the bottom. I've got them finishing at nine. Um, I think I'd DC at 10 and then then KKR at, at nine. Um, so that's where I, I see them finishing. What about you? Yeah, I mean, I've got similar similar views. I think they're I think they could struggle, in which case I'd be really interested to see some of their some of the players that they've brought in. Um Chet and Zacharia, Anil Kulroy, they're both players mm -hmm. that I think are quite like they've got quite big upside potential. But at the same time, you know, we could see person at Benji really doesn't rate like Manish Pandey come in and then yeah. you know that the wheels have really come off and they're desperate. So I I am predicting that KKR finish last 10th okay. place. But I would say for any KKR fans, it's not like that's not like a massive insult because it's just because I I think based on the preview, based on the squads um and like stats that we have available, that's how I see it. But um, you know, it'll take like one game week where you can see everybody play, and then you can actually get a real gauge of okay, yeah. who's actually looking strong. Because yeah, look at the SA twenty MI Cape Town consistently look like the best squad, and in the two seasons it's been going on, they finished last twice. So, you know, you you can't tell a whole lot from a preview, but that's what I'd say. It's tenth. Yeah, yeah so, let us know uh, what you think for sure. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, mm. If you do, please try and tell your friends about us. It seems like these videos aren't really getting picked up by the algorithm or anything like that. So try and spread the word if you can. Um, like and subscribe. If you do subscribe, if you hit the bell icon, the notifications, 
then it means you get told every time our video comes on so you won't miss any and it obviously helps us out if you want to really support the channel and get some exclusive awesome content then you can become a member the link for that is in the description um yeah we'll see you next time goodbye